It's week 60 of Zer, so I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling this week, as well as give you guys my recommendations, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 60, finally, of Zer in Destiny 2 Forsaken. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of December, and remember, there will be four different winners, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Zer is located on Nessus. And it is by the Watcher's Grave. So let's go ahead and find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up, dude? Check out my moves, man. Check out my moves. So, like always, we're going to start with the left hand side. The weapon of the week is the Vigilance Wing, which is an exotic fusion rifle. Then we have the Starfire Protocol for the Warlock, the Frosty uh, for the Hunter, as well as the Armamentarium for the Titan. We're going to go ahead and start with the Starfire Protocol first. In terms of perk on this, is Fusion Harness, which Gives you an extra fusion grenade, and then grenade kills charge rift. Then we have uh, unflinching bow aim, unflinching fusion rifle aim, unflinching sniper aim, scout rifle reserves, as well as special ammo finder. Now, having an extra grenade is pretty good. However, fusion grenades aren't as good in Destiny 2 as they were in Destiny 1. So, I'm probably going to have to give this maybe a tier 2.5 in PvP, and probably a tier... Uh, probably a tier 2 in PvE, because it is a little bit better in PvE because they have less health. Next is the Frosties. In terms of perk on this is Rapid Cooldown, which Sprinting gives energy. Dodging speeds up Sprint. Then we have Fusion Rival Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Bomber, Scout Rifle uh, Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder. Now, these are a good exotic uh, to use in PvE or PvP. Top tier, eh, maybe in the top five, but definitely not in the top three. At least not in my top three. So, I'm probably going to rate this a tier 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP. Next is the Armamentarium. Intrinsic perk on this is and another thing, which you gain an additional grenade charge. Then we have uh, Unfinished Bow Aim. Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Sniper Aim, uh, Scout Rifle Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. Now, just like uh, Starfire Protocol, Armamentarium is okay. It's not really as good, um, but that extra grenade charge for any other class that's not a striker is definitely good. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to give this a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP. Um, I mean, the other grenades are still good, but the striker grenades are probably the best. And that pulse grenade obviously is amazing, but you can actually have your subclass, so you have double pulse grenades. So it kind of defeats the purpose of Armamentarium, unless you use a different skill trait. Last but not least, we have your consumables, which we have your Five of Swords, and then we have your Faded Engram, from which still does not give you Forsaken Exotics. And as you can see, I have 10 Legendary Shards, so I am highly, highly destiny broke. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.